so in this video lecture we'll study about what are methods and why do we need them so what you call function in C, C++ or methods in Java is the same thing we have in Ruby but how to write it is the important thing okay so you define a function using def and the name of the function which in this case is say okay so def is as you know the abbreviation of definition so this is a function definition and you end a function using the end statement okay so in in other languages you have this uh, what do you call maybe a return type followed by the name of the function and round brackets followed by curly parentheses okay so in ruby you have uh, this keyword def to define the function and this keyword end to end to, so that the compiler understands where this function is ending okay and this is a comment pound sign is a comment okay so what we'll do is and what i want you to do is that i want you to create this file so create a file a new file okay so say dot rb okay so I type these following statements so you know what it will do it will print hello hi how are you and i'm fine a lot of times okay what alternatively what we can do it is rather than having so many put statement okay we can make a procedure make a function definition to do it so we have definition say says the name of the method so this is the arguments so whatever goes in here gets printed because we have written puts words okay so puts words will print whatever the argument that has been uh, taken in to this method okay so yeah it, it may look silly in first glance but those who have studied C, C++ Java they will understand the importance of functions okay so we can also make changes here puts words plus maybe a dot so everything will be printed with the dot next we have these default parameters so in default parameters what we do is we just uh, give a default value that if suppose there is no parameter that has been passed so use this as a parameter use something as a parameter so that is a default parameter so in this case it is hello so you see in this function there is not no parameter that has been passed so hello will be print put hello and a dot Okay. So these parentheses are parentheses are optional in Ruby in method definition. These indentations are very important. Okay. So take care. Make sure that you indent all the methods and parentheses you can leave. Okay. So we'll take we'll take we'll learn something known as. Um, chaining so chaining method so yeah so this is a new thing here so definition at 3 in plus 3 so we are what we are doing is we are chaining this and like into our expression so what we are getting is it n is an integer value and we are explicitly like writing something or, or manipulating the value by using an expression or you can say by chaining an expression and therefore it is known as chaining methods so this will print 8 this will return 8 not print but ra rather return because we not use a puts statement okay since add 3 method returns a value we can keep calling methods on the return value so add three five dot times puts this should print eight times so because add three five will actually make it will actually return eight so this will effectively be eight dot times and this statement will be executed eight times okay. 
so notice the last line the 8 has been it, it signifies that 8 has been returned so this is how we chain methods so yeah that's what we have in this uh, methods as argument here yeah, this is another important thing so we know what is method we know what is argument so we'll create these two uh, methods add and subtract which will take in two integer values and perform the operation so we passed add 20 comma 45 so 65 will be printed and similarly and so forth so what we can do is we can even make it like this we can we have this multiply definition so we can pass methods as an argument so multiply add 20 comma 45 comma sub so this will return one value this will return one values these two values will be uh, used by this multiply method and 4550 will be returned why 4550 because 20 plus 45 which is 65 65 and 2 80 minus 10 which is 70 so 65 into 70 is 4550 so yeah that's it so that's what we have in uh, method uh, what you can do is write a program you have already written a greeting message program now so this program should contain a method called greeting that takes a name as a parameter and returns a string okay so this is your assignment for this section and in the next section we'll see what flow controls are